Okay, this is my 3D printer table and my uh, Prusa 3D printer and uh, recently I bought a new roll of uh, filament. Too big uh, to fit in the, these uh, filament holders I have here so um, I have to do something else. So I found this um, holder here which is adjustable and uh, I think it's made uh, fr by Prusa. It's an adjustable spool holder that the spool is uh, supposed to sit and roll upon instead of hanging from uh, like static holders. So I'm gonna print this one in uh, white, I think. Just wait uh, 6 hours and uh, 15 minutes. So now it's been 6 hours and 7 minutes and the parts are ready to be assembled. So this adjustable piece here, which is going to slide on this one, is uh, pretty hard stuck on this uh, print, so I struggle a bit to get it loose. Okay, so uh, I managed to get this part uh, loose uh, from the support uh, material, but uh, it was uh, not without damage, so yeah, I think I'm gonna print this one separately. So to uh, print only one part of this uh, larger uh, model, I just use the split function, split to parts. And then you can uh, select the individual parts here and uh, delete them. Then I need to add some support material and uh, to set the support material settings like this. This way uh, you get the support material in uh, the opening underneath the part. So the new piece is done and uh, I'm ready to test. Just have to remove the supporting material. So let's test the new piece. Should slide right in. Yeah, it does. Excellent. So now I can uh, put the wheels into place. And test with uh, a barrel of uh, filament, which I have here. So adjust it a little bit. And yeah, excellent. No, not quite there. Yeah. So the filament roll is now rolling onto the wheels. Uh, 
I might put some lubrication between the, the wheels and the holder or smooth them out a bit with the sandpaper. Alright, that's it for this video. Uh, I think this works fine. It's a bit noisy perhaps, but uh, that's okay. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I see you in another video. Bye bye.